Hey everyone, I have something a bit different today. Um, would rather be doing like survival, bushcraft, or primitive skill training, but got something I'd like to show you. Something I, something I made that honestly I think is pretty cool. I hope you'll think it's cool too. So I'd love to hear some comments and see what you think of it. Now, a lot of you would probably know that my favorite animal is the crocodile. Not including dinosaurs, because dinosaurs are just a whole nother level of awesome. And pretty much everything I like about crocodiles applies to gigantic theropods as well. In fact, I'm such a dinosaur nerd, whenever I watch Jurassic Park, uh, there's so much wrong in that movie compared to the fossil record. And aren't most of those dinosaurs from the Cretaceous, not the Jurassic? That's false advertising! Okay. So, other than dinosaurs, my favorite animal is the crocodile. Curious to see if anybody can guess what my second favorite animal is. It's another Australian animal. Very unique. And awesome. So, yes, you may have noticed I really like wearing crocodiles. On this end. Yeah, you've probably spotted it. That's what I made. It's some um, larger um guard wrist braces type things. Honestly, I really like the look of those massive leather cuffs. You know, that heavy metal look. The leather arm guards and the studs and the spikes and stuff. I love that look. You know, that man o' war type look or Judas Priest. Ah, love, I love that spikes and leather look. But I also love my crocodiles. So what I've been wanting for ages is like a big crocodile arm guard. Now I'm, you know, I'm contemplating adding teeth to these. I'll see how I go. I mean, I've got plenty of extra teeth to add to these. And you know, if I had teeth, that would be my spikes and leather. Though this is the part of the crocodile that has its uh, armored bone discs in the scales. One of the better looking parts of the crocodile. But for ages I've just wanted something like that so I finally got around to just making it. Because <laughs> well I've got tons of crocodile leather and no idea what to do with it. I really wanted some like some big larger cuffs than the ones I had been wearing. So I decided to make myself some larger bands. And I was thinking about, you know, retiring these old ones and just wearing these. Then I realized, why don't I wear both? You know, kind of, just, so instead of having just that much crocodile running up my arm, I'd have that much crocodile running up my arm. I mean, honestly, I'd love to have it like up to here and, you know, maybe some like those bands that run across top of your arm, like, you know, I think I've seen a couple of Native Americans and Old Westerns having bands across there, I, I'd love one of them made of crocodile, and, you know, I, you can, you can kind of guess that I like things made out of crocodile. One of these days I'm gonna get that crocodile skin vest, once it's so bad, I just don't know how to make it. It's beyond my ability with leather, which is like really low but I just so want a crocodile skin vest one day so hopefully it'll happen given enough time but I made these and another thing is I've been wanting large bracelets with paracord in them as well because I don't have paracord bracelets ta-da it's got paracord in it though so this one I'm gonna replace that bit of paracord with a longer length. I want to have it doubled up so that you know there's there's room for two lengths of paracord to run through that through those holes so I could do that. Double up the length. Another problem is has these ends sticking out of it because you've got to have all that length so that when you take it off they don't go out through the eyelets and then when you've done them up and they're all tight just I've just been stuffing them underneath. You know, just so I don't have bits of paracord dangling off of me, because, you know, if they get caught on something, 
that's probably bad. Because I want to keep my arms, and I don't want things dangling off of my hands, well, my wrists or my forearm, that could get snagged and caught on something. So, you know, I, I stuff them under so that they don't get caught on anything. So now I've got crocodile and paracord bracelets. Awesome! And the other thing is, I reckon that that would double as an archery arm guard. You know, turn it around like that, and now I've got that protecting my arm from the string for an archery arm guard, and I've got that. If the string might still whack me in there, just got you know make sure I got it in tight. And if that's not enough room, I could take this one off, pop that on there. Crocodile skin archery arm guard. How awesome does that sound? <laughs> and you know, it was really easy to make these and they look beautiful. Well, I reckon they look beautiful. Yeah. All it was was, you know, I had to work out the size, cut it, put the eyelets in, make sure that the, <laughs> I put the eyelets in properly, but and that, not much work, and they look amazing. Well, I think they do. But that's because, you know, that's not because of any kind of skill on my part. That's because crocodile leather is beautiful. At least I think it is. Love to hear what your opinion is. I think that looks awesome. It would look so boring if it was just, you know, a strap of leather. You know, so a lot of people do have normal leather ones like this. But, you know, they'll decorate them very intricately. They'll, you know, put patterns and draw pictures and maybe some studs. Do all kinds of fancy work to make their arm guard and bracelets look really nice. I think they also go by the name of cowboy cuffs. Sounds kind of cool. Crocodile cowboy cuffs. Maybe that's what I should call these. Cro paracord and crocodile cowboy cuffs slash archery arm guard. That sounds pretty cool. And they have got that kind of mano war meets dragon slayer kind of look to them. Which I love. Didn't take anything fancy because crocodile leather and all those scales just look so awesome already. Don't need to do anything fancy to it. No embroidery, no engraving, no putting pictures on it, no studs or nothing. They just look awesome because it's crocodile leather. I figured you would probably like that because you're my mates and you probably share a lot of my interests. And let's face it, crocodiles are awesome. Alright everyone, see you.